Hey everybody, it's Taco Tuesday. I'm always excited for Taco Tuesday. Uh, today we're doing uh, enchiladas, or not enchiladas, we're doing tostadas. Uh, so just a couple of things uh, as I was cooking. Um, you don't have to buy tostada shells. Uh, I get these at the store. They're uh, pretty inexpensive. The only thing that's in them is uh, corn, water, salt, and lime. Uh, you pop them in the oven for 10 minutes or so, and they come super crispy. I don't want to break them because we're eating them, but uh, yeah, I mean, they come out great. Uh, you don't need to spend extra money to have them cook them. Uh, I rub them with a little, uh, I just take a half a lime. I just kind of rub, you know, when I take them out, I just kind of rub on the one side, rub on the other side, and then uh, just sprinkle them with some salt. I also uh, poke holes in them. I take a knife and I, I kind of stack them up when I'm done and just kind of go around. Uh, depending on which brand you buy, sometimes they puff up and they crack, uh, so I don't want that to happen. I want to keep them kind of flat and crispy like that. Uh, so I just kind of go around and just poke some holes in them. Uh, it seems to help. Uh, a few other things. I did make my beans uh, yesterday, I prepped, or uh, the day before yesterday actually. I prepped, so the beans are all ready. Uh, I'm going to cut up some vegetables uh, to go on. I was going to make a guacamole, but I think I'm just going to make more of a, um, just a, a avocado uh, salsa with some onions and cilantro instead of mashing it all up. I only have, uh, I only have one avocado. Uh, I bought the other two a little bit harder, so uh, eh, well, this one's soft enough, uh, but not soft enough to mash up. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, here is my, I threw everything for the nacho crema, the legendary <laughs> nacho crema. Uh, that stuff is awesome. We've tried a ton. We were experimenting. We tried the potato and carrot. We tried this. We tried that. Uh, there's just not a lot of good stuff out there. And that's part of the problem uh, just with uh, kind of getting recipes off the internet or hearing what's great or looking in cookbooks. You kind of never know what you're going to get. Uh, in the end, uh, you know, we, we were working with our recipe developer. We went through a bunch of stuff. We went back. We were testing stuff and trying stuff. Uh, this stuff comes out great. Uh, this is kind of the closest thing we can get uh, you know, to kind of a nacho cheese. Uh, so it, it, it's awesome. I mean, it really comes out great. It took me about five minutes. I already had the cashews uh, done. It took me about five minutes just to measure everything out and throw it in. The only thing you don't throw in is the jalapenos, but it has everything else in there. So I'm going to give it a blend real quick. Now that it's done, and it's, I mean, geez, this, this ninja, I mean, it goes right up to the top. This is like one of those things that just fits. Oh, it looks awesome. I'm going to throw my jalapenos in, and then I'm just going to give it a quick pulse. I don't want those to kind of liquefy. I want, you know, a little bit of uh, peppers in there, just little pieces of the pepper. Get that back on so you don't spray this all over. And just give it a couple pulses here. But yeah, this stuff... This, that, the, that lime, that jalapeno crema, man, oh man, these things were great. Uh, yeah, when those things came out, I got a clean spoon here, let me just give it a try. Mm, it's so good. The trick with the, you know, with this, um, I do like everything smooth, so I do soak the cashews. So I, I, did, I did also want to just say, uh, cashews are, you know, they are pricey. Uh, so I, I usually go to, we have a Costco, and I know people are kind of around the world, that, you know, wherever you shop. It's a bulk warehouse. Uh, so I do, I do buy them, at, you know, on a large scale. Uh, I know I'm going to use them eventually, so I, I do, do try to buy things in bulk. I buy all my spices in bulk, just so you get a better price. If I go to the local market and buy, you know, I'm, I'm spending six, seven bucks on, on a small thing of whatever, uh, smoked paprika or oregano or whatever it is, where I can go there and I can get a, you know, a large one kind of for the same price. These cashews, I get them home, I open the top, I fill the thing up with water, and right now it is full, and I just let them soak. So I got these uh, this afternoon. Earlier, I've just been letting them soak. They've been soaking probably about five hours. I'll just drain these in a colander and uh, put them in a freezer bag and freeze them. Uh, then when I want to take them out, uh, after they're frozen, I kind of just slam them on the counter. They all break apart. And then I can just fill up a, a cup, whatever I need, thaw them out in water for, you know, warm water for five or ten minutes till they're, till they're uh, uh, thawed out. And then I just blend them there. Uh, eventually, the nuts, I mean, you, don't, you can't soak them and leave them. They'll eventually go bad. But if you freeze them, uh, it works out really well. 
so that's all I have for today. It was a nice quick little video. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to Taco Tuesday. Like I said, I'm gonna cut, cut some vegetables up. We got the shells all made. We got the beans all made. I uh, got the nacho crema all made. And uh, yeah, we're gonna assemble these and have our Taco Tuesday. So hope you guys like it. Uh, if you haven't tried the nacho crema, it's in both plans. It's in the 28 day plan and it's in the regular uh, recipe box. You can either search for it or drop the little drop down down to uh, um, sauce, <coughs> excuse me, sauces and uh, it's in there or you can do a search for it. Uh, so enjoy and uh, hope you're having tacos and enjoy your tacos. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon.